Good afternoon, this is Chris Brecher with the Simpler Stocks free video for uh, November 23rd, day before Thanksgiving 2016. It's about 17 minutes after the close. Just got off a really fun session on the Gold Room that I actually went over before uh, 3 o'clock and after 4. We just had a blast. So, uh, um, so that went really well in there. So just to let you know what happened today, Another day up before Thanksgiving, another like normal thing in here. The, the whole idea in here is the market, I've been warning for weeks, no matter what the divergences are with the bond market, with anything in the world, you don't short before Thanksgiving. It just never seems to work. And that's where experience happens, not because I'm some Mr. Guru, it's because I've lost my shirt trying to go massively short before holiday before so I sort of know better by now. So the whole idea in here, ES is up 775. NASDAQ up 21, Russell up 11. Yeah, the bonds up only four. They were up over a point today. That's what happens in a bear market in there, and I'll show you what I mean in a chart. Yeah, the trend looking like it was up 65, uh, but really what happened in there is uh, just indecision on some stocks. Believe it or not, even with the market up, uh, the thing I noticed was there were a lot of stocks with a lot of volume that were down, and that's how trend is done. If you want to know what I mean in here, we go over all the time on the premium side about these 1,082 stocks. Look at the sell-off in Medtronic, Patterson, Dicom, and Palo Alto. Look at the volume right there. 11 million, 7 million, 14 million, 31 million. I'm not saying they're all in the trend. But I'm saying that these type of stocks, there was a lot of volume on the downside. Even dry ships, 17 million. Can't believe this stock has done the round trip from four, well, almost from four and a half to 116, almost back to where it began and where it deserved to be. Very interesting. But the whole idea is trend is all about advancing, declining stocks with their up, uh, their volume. So just understand a lot of stocks that decline. Had a great deal of volume, and that's why the trend is 147. Yeah, the industrial's up 67 again. SPX up four. Transport's up four team. Yeah, gold up all at two uh, dollars. Like I said, when you have the Goldman Sachs of the world going up, and we talk about this on the premium side all the time, why on earth buy the gold stocks trying to pick a bottom, and why does everybody want to pick a stop on Goldman Sachs? We're here at the... the idea of simpler stocks is not to feed you with a hundred different trades and just tell you buy this sell that it's to teach you on why we were going through what we're going uh why the thought processes we go through and to keep you on the direct the correct side of the market the idea is if something hasn't turned you don't short it uh, you know turn on the downside if something's turned on the upside you know don't short it if something's going straight down you don't buy it until it shows you it wants to go up. So definitely keep that in mind in there. The other thing in here, you have the advanced decline today. Really up about 1,000, a little higher than 1,000, no doubt about it. Yeah, like I said, gold up a little, crude oil down just a bit in here. Yeah, the dollar just not doing much anything. VIX, believe it or not, holding up there like a champ, only down a penny. Some people get a little nervous after Thanksgiving now. Yeah, the UVXY up just a bit. Nikkei, another strong day up 170. Even with the earthquake over there, uh, their market looks good on a chart. Uh, so just keep that in mind. The German DAX is represented by DE Dow with Thinkorswim up about three-tenths of a percent. Chinese market up about seven-tenths of a percent. So to give you an idea of what I'm talking about in here, we have divergence and we've had it for a while. Between the ESs on the left, just a tremendous rally in here, no doubt about it. On the other hand, you have the bonds having a tremendous sell-off. When you get that kind of momentum, what ha and this divergence, this in a way, to me, is a big old warning sign. Just not at this type of time of year. Doesn't mean in two weeks or in even three days it won't matter. So just keep that in mind. That's number one. Number two in here. If you decide to buy the bonds, and you could do it by TLT or the ZB, you have to understand that when you're in a big old sell-off, 
Every oversold rally is to be shorted, not to be bought. So when you see these little pops like right here, you short them. You know, go to an hourly chart and I think you'll see what I'm talking about. The hourly chart, if you want to go and buy the bonds, that's up to you. But every little pop is sold. Check that out. That's what happens when you're in a plummeting market. The danger in here, believe it or not, is how far we've gone down and this lack of momentum to the downside. See the halt of momentum? Because it went down so precipitously, even though it continued down but not to the same degree, the MACD is actually approaching the zero line. This is a very dangerous scenario and points that if, if this doesn't hold, check this on the right. This could go have another leg down. Really nasty in here what's going on. So just keep in mind, the first thing we do on simpler stocks every day is we go over the futures. And as you see, we have some serious divergences going on in here. So just so you know, we still have the $7 30-day trial for the silver side. That includes the chat room. You get 9 to 10 in the morning. The premium video, a lot more in-depth than what you're hearing now. Uh, email alerts, which to me are a big deal of this uh, site. I post at least six index and futures charts every morning. There are people that don't even trade stocks that subscribe because they like our futures uh, commentary so much. Stock trades and chart ideas, I try to have at least six a day. I'm telling you, I posted 100 in the last couple of weeks. And then what we do is we pare it down to, a lot, to what we're actionable now. And we get them down to our favorite ones. So I hope everybody's enjoyed this video. Look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Have a great night.